Okay, comrades, uh, first of all, I bring greetings from the Socialist Party in Ireland, North and South, and from the Committee for Workers International, which organises many countries into which the Socialist Party in Ireland is affiliated, as indeed are some of our comrades who have come as guests here from Socialist Alternative in the United States. And I also bring greetings from the new group of five members of the Dáil, the Parliament of the Republic of Ireland, elected on the 25th of February. Uh, I want to thank you for the invitation to attend the uh, conference, which I, I found to be a very interesting experience, and I think the spirit of democracy, of inclusiveness and participation that was evident is the spirit in which we have to go forward and build the uh, movement where different ideas uh, are accommodated, discussed honestly and openly, uh, uh, and people are honest and open in their methods, but we uh, rely on the force of ideas um, rather than, in, uh, as in the social democratic parties, with bans and prescriptions uh, against the left, simply because the right wing cannot answer the arguments, and that's a very good template for, for the Socialist Party of Ontario. Now, comrades, right throughout Europe at the uh, present time, we have a massive vacuum on the left and a major crisis of the political leadership of the uh, working class, without exception. All the Social Democratic and Labour parties have moved irretrievably to the right, have moved into the camp of, uh, of the capitalist marketplace, of market capitalism and of neoliberalism. And it is the analysis of the Socialist Party and the CWI indeed that that is where they will stay. Uh, they're, in a, they're now really uh, bourgeois parties, parties of uh, capitalism in all but name. Uh, incredibly, they do still retain the, the, uh, the name, social democratic, but also socialist. I mean, amazingly, in three of the most crisis-ridden countries in Europe at the present time, in Greece, in Spain, and in Portugal, the parties of government are called the socialist parties. But they, in power, are implementing programs of savage austerity at the behest of the financial markets, of the IMF, the uh, European Union, and, uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, so on. So they have, of course, gone the, uh, the, the full distance. As you know, the Social Democratic and Labour parties were founded over the last 120 years as the consciousness developed among the organized working class that they needed political representation along with their industrial representation and, uh, and, and power, and uh, created therefore mass parties to represent their interests, which of course became very powerful parties uh, throughout many countries of uh, Europe. Uh, from sometimes very radical beginnings with uh, a serious uh, influence of, of Marxists and Marxism. They became parties that went through f phases of right or left reformism. But in the last 20 years, particularly with the collapse of Stalinism in Eastern Europe, and then with the orgy of triumphalism, uh, of the market, of uh, capitalism, etc., and under that pressure, the Social Democratic and Labour parties just moved further and further to the uh, right and uh, really now are, are, are as I said, uh, uh, parties of uh, capitalism. That was probably uh, most evident perhaps in the British Labour Party, uh, which really went beyond Thatcher uh, under the Blair uh, uh, leadership and then, as we know, participated in the criminal invasion of, uh, of uh, Iraq, just illustrating the point. Now, the move to the right, of course, has caused disorientation and confusion politically among the working class in Europe. If you take the Greek workers, for example, in the autumn, the fall just gone, or no, no, of 2009, rather, 
in parliamentary elections. They kicked out the Conservative uh, government and elected the PASOK, the uh, Panhellenic Socialist Party, with a hope that at least it might, in some sense, vindicate their rights and, uh, uh, and adopt different policies to the Conservatives whom they, uh, wh whom they uh, kicked out. But of course, within a matter of months, PASOK had utterly betrayed any hope that the Greek workers had uh, in it. And now, and for the last 12 months, uh, under the diktat of the IMF, the European Union, uh, programs of austerity to save European capitalism in reality. PASOK saturates the cities of Greece with riot police to repress the opposition and the movement of the working class, which I have witnessed myself when I was a member of the European Parliament and uh, in visits to, uh, to uh, Greece. Now, comrades, European capitalism is in a profound crisis at the, uh, the present time. And really, the current crisis has shown up the real parasitic nature of uh, financial uh, capitalism. Um, in the 10 years, for example, leading up to the, uh, the, 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 the crisis that began with vengeance in 2007, hedge funds and bankers and m m major banks in Europe poured incredible billions into countries like Ireland and Spain to fuel uh, short-term crazed property bubbles for very, very quick uh, and massive uh, returns, but of course creating a huge uh, crisis which is now inevitably uh, uh, upon us. And just as in the subprime mortgage crisis that developed in the United States, as soon as the inevitable crash after the orgy of uh, speculation uh, the policy was to make the working class pay for this uh, uh, crisis. And I think in Ireland uh, we have a most extreme and blatant manifestation of, uh, of, of that situation. And the extent of the speculation within which major European bankers from Germany, from Spain, from France, from Britain, it, 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 it were involved in Ireland, which after all is a small country.